Image Credit Credit James Keevum for the New York Times Jack Ming Jialin, a Columbia tennis player, will miss class on Tuesday. He has a good excuse. Credit Credit James Keevum for the New York Times own recent morning, Jack Ming Jialin, a Columbia University tennis player, informed his chemistry professor that he needed to reschedule Tuesday night's lab because he had another engagement. Look, he said he told his professor, I have a very important match February. 12 and I understand that we're supposed to have lab session that Tuesday night, but unfortunately, I can't make it that night, instead of chemistry class, Lin, a 19-year-old sophomore, will be playing his first ATP Tour main draw match, at the New York Open at Nassau Coliseum. Lin earned a wild card into the first round of the professional event by winning a college invitational in November at Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. 32 players from 16 New York area universities, including Army, Cornell, Princeton and St. John's, competed in the tournament, where Lynn beat Alafiani of Cornell, 6-7, 3-6-3, 7-6, 5, in a final that lasted three and a half hours. Lynn's appearance at the New York Open is a rare opportunity for an amateur to test himself against the pros, the Knicks can never play a team like Street. John's in a game that actually counts, said Peter Lebedevs, the assistant tournament director for the New York Open. In this, it is the pros playing a collegiate player, and it counts for both of them. For a kid like Jack, it's an opportunity to get points and to get started on a potential pro career after his college or during the summer, a native of Markham, Ontario, Lynn ended the fall at no. Four in the collegiate doubles rankings with his playing partner, William Matheson, and as number 40 in singles. He helped Columbia reach the round of 16 in the NCAA. Tournament last season after the Lions won the Ivy League for the fifth year in a row. He owns victories over the current pros Taylor Fritz of the United States and Dennis Shapovalov of Canada, but those came in the junior ranks. Shapovalov is ranked no. 25 in the world, and Fritz no. 40, obviously seeing them both develop into such big-time players, I don't think I'm at their level yet with the results that they've been having, said Lynn, who grew up near Shapovalov, 19, in the Toronto suburbs. I'm just more content with my own improvement over every month, image Jacqueline practicing with his Columbia teammates last month. Credit James Keevum for the New York Times The New York Open will feature many top American players, including John Isner, Francis Tifo, Steve Johnson and Sam Querrey. The former world number one Lane Hewitt is playing doubles, as are Bob and Mike Bryan. Lynn will play a qualifier on Tuesday, and if he wins, he would face Johnson, ranked 34th. Some of Lynn's Columbia teammates want him to face a top player to see how he matches up. I want to watch Jack play against one of the high-caliber guys to see the difference between the ATP guys and the level in college, said the junior Jackie Tang, who plays for the Hong Kong Davis Cup team in addition to competing for Columbia. I think he'll do well because I don't think the gap is that big. I think it's just the experience and the knowledge of how to play certain points correctly. John McEnroe, who played a year at Stanford, has been a supporter of college tennis, pointing out that top 10 players like Isner and Kevin Anderson have had pro success at older ages after maturing while playing college tennis. Most recently, Danielle Collins, a two-time NCAA Champion at Virginia, advanced to the semi-finals of the Australian Open at 25, Lynn said, Honestly, I think college tennis is the best it's ever been. There are so many transitional players playing at such a high level, Lynn's mother, Sally Yi, is set to come from Toronto, and many of Lynn's coaches and teammates plan to root him on as well. I love these play-in formats where it's not just arbitrarily granting a wild card to somebody, said the former American star Andy Roddick, who kicked off the tournament on Saturday with an exhibition match against Jim Poirier. It's a good story that somebody came in and earned it and this is what you get for your troubles, what's better than being able to work your way into the matches that you dream about? Roddick joked that he would advise Lynn not to take the prize money so that he can remain an amateur. Lynn has not planned that far ahead, obviously, playing the event's not really about the prize money, he said. 
It's just more about getting the opportunity to play in front of everybody on such a big stage and play against the top guys on the ATP level just to assess what my level is. On Tuesday Lin will be playing in the New York Open instead of going to chemistry class. Crit James Keevum for the New York Times at 5'11", Lin is short for a sport where more than half of the men's top 15 players are at least 6 to 4. But he is a shot maker and is working on becoming more aggressive by coming to net more. Lin, who hopes to someday be a top 100 player on the ATP Tour, considers himself part of the rising wave of Canadian players that includes Shapovalov and Felix Auger-Iliassime. He played for Canada's Davis Cup team, but opted to come to the United States to focus on academics and tennis. In Canada, there are a lot of great universities there too, but they kind of lack the competition in tennis of playing in the States, he said. Playing NCAA Tennis, it allows me to continue developing my game and obviously at the same time pursue my academic goals. Balancing the two sets of goals has been a battle. The men's tennis team as a whole carries a 3.74 grade point average, and Lin does not want to let his teammates down, there's a lot of things going on, but he's managing, said Bid Goswami, in his 37th season as the Columbia tennis coach. He doesn't want to be left behind in his studies. He had a really good last two semesters, as for that chemistry lab, Lin suggested to his professor that he move it to Wednesday night, but if he wins on Tuesday, he won't be able to make that session, either. He'll be back on the court playing his second round match at the New York Open. In fact, he would have several schedule conflicts to manage. The Columbia team is flying to Chicago on Wednesday for the Intercollegiate Tennis Association National Championships, which begin Friday. If Jack wins his first match on Tuesday night and misses our flight to Chicago for national indoors, the Columbia assistant Howard Endelman said, that's a good problem to have. A version of this article appears in print on, on page D6 of the New York edition with the headline, ducking out of class for a shot at the tour. Order reprints, today's paper, subscribe.